Good morning everyone, we are travelling back to Devon um, and working on Interlim app on the way there. I will fill you in at the end of the episode of what I've actually got on, got on with today and where the app is in general. I've had a few people look at it and give some feedback, which is quite interesting, which I'll talk you through. So, travel montage. Here we go, let's do it. we get into the video, please subscribe to my monthly newsletter called The Change Log. Firstly, obviously, go into all the detail the videos don't in terms of kind of what's happening technically, even my like monthly recurring revenue, all of those stats. If you want to know that, you know, visit the top link in the description and subscribe. It will also kind of bring in all the detail which I don't go into in these videos, you know, the problems I face, the feedback, the actual feedback I got from customers and potential customers. So if you want to get, if you want to get access to all of that, top link in the description, subscribe. Anyway, back to the video. It's been a crazy couple of days down here in Devon. I've just been pretty much relaxing. I've actually been on holiday, but relaxing and working on Interlude. Uh, a few walks and a few other bits and bobs. So this is kind of a bad day in life video, so I apologize for that. But I know <clears throat> my last video has got loads of attention and it's done really, really well. And I think everyone just deserves an update. I know it's been nearly a month since that last video. So in this video, or this kind of this segment, I'm gonna talk through a few questions which may, mainly have been arising, um, but starting off with just kind of a demo of where the product is right now. My next steps, which I'm taking kind of moving forward, building out into Lou, and then some general questions, as I said. If we jump into the design, which I've got right in front of me, most of the general product is now has now been built out, I would say. So for example, if we search for a company like I did, Hello World, here, uh, you can see what options here to see if you want to see just active companies or dissolved companies, which is quite cool. Um, if you go into one a company now, all of these items now work. So if I hit overview, you can see all of the overview information, uh, filings, you can see that and you can toggle the filings based on the uh, category. So accounts is quite a useful one. You can jump into a file, you can see it all just in one single flow, which is really neat. You can open the file in a new tab if you wanted to, or copy the file link if you wanted to share. So it's pretty straightforward. If I move on to people, we can see uh, show current officers or persons with significant control. It's pretty straightforward. And if they are related, if they have any other companies they're involved in, then those lists, that list is displayed here as well. If I hit periods, which is the coolest one in my opinion, you can see the current accounting period where they are, kind of the end, the time till the end of that accounting period, and then the R&D tax credit, the R&D tax claim uh, deadline, which is also here. So it's it's all kind of in the product, which is really cool. So I would say the main search function of the app is ready and it's ready for people to use. One thing which I have done is I've got a few people in my close network, which I think would find this useful. Uh, I showed that to them maybe like a week ago or so. And one of the bits of feedback was they wanted to be able to see other companies, people involved in one company are involved in, which I built and the other one was custom alerts. So custom alerts is something I'm gonna be working on probably after I launch, and we'll try and get the first version out. Yeah, that will come a lot later, I think. But again, so kind of, that's kind of just a product. And if you don't know what Companies House is, so if I wanted to search for this company using their generic software, so if I go here, so this is the government's website, I hit Hello World again, so you can see, if I jump in, this is the same information, but obviously we're displaying it in a nicer way it reloads the page to kind of view that. These toggles sometimes don't work, I've found. Maybe they are working now, but they were having some bugs before. That's all there. People, 
uh, and then there's a little bit more there, but nothing, nothing that serious. So that's kind of the product versus what the government have provided um, on their website. So kind of next steps, I suppose, are, we've got, obviously got the credits in there as well, which are quite cool. Um, so okay, so next steps. So I think the main thing is, well, the main two other features which I wanna be involved in the launch will be saved and history. Your view is gonna come later with custom alerts. That's things, something I'm gonna maybe be charging a premium fee for. Um, but again, I don't really know until we get it in people's hands. Settings can come, but before I do saved and history, I need to figure out some database architecture, which I'm gonna be doing in my next video and also think about, so we'll kind of once that's in place and people actually have accounts, then we can start thinking about, okay, what does that saved database model look like? The history, how are we gonna do that? So I'll actually be sharing that all with you. Those are the next steps. In terms of tech stack, I know you guys have been wondering what actually is involved. I can't show the, I won't show the code, but it's basically we've got a Node.js backend with a Node Express app. We're gonna be using MongoDB. Um, we've got React in the front end, which is this, which is mainly all done for the main search feature, Express and Node. So it's, it's really straightforward and that's the stack I'm gonna be building with. And that's pretty much it. So loads more to come, but as the, those are my next steps. I must say this project has taken a lot longer than I thought it would, um, mainly just from other clients' demands and not finding enough time for it. But I have some really exciting news. Basically, one day a week, I'm focusing now on Interlude, like basically the whole the whole day and also this YouTube channel. So it's really exciting. Expect more videos coming out on a regular basis and expect to see Interlude live, I think, really soon. So yeah, it's a really, it's a really, really, really exciting time.